Welcome back guys, this is AG, you're watching Math to the Max, and today we will apply Pythagorean Theorem. So what is a right angle? It's going to have 90 degrees, particularly symbolized with a box or square. A right triangle, a three-sided figure shape that has three angles, and it's going to have a right angle, key thing, right triangle. Legs, these are going to be the sides touching the 90 degree angle. And hot pot news is the longest side of the right triangle across from the right angle. The legs are touching the right angle, and the 90 degrees points to the hypotenuse, the longest side. Again, the legs are just the sides, and they have to touch the right angle. The hypotenuse does not touch the right angle. Hmm, so what should I know? Glad you asked. How to do a two-step equation. Let's look at this example. Solve for x. Add the 3 on both sides. And then how do you get rid of multiply by 4, divide by 4. So the final answer is, all right, the next thing should know your inverse operations. Adding and subtraction or inverses, multiplication and division or inverses. Now squared and square root are inverses. So if you have 5 squared, in order to get back to 5, you have to take the square root 25 to get 5. So the process is applying this formula, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. a and b are legs, c is the hypotenuse. All right, so just look at these steps. These are the two cases. Either you're gonna have a missing leg, a or b, they're interchangeable, or you're gonna have a missing hypotenuse. So for the missing leg, just plug in your a and c, square the numbers, subtract a squared from c squared, then take the square root of b squared, because you remember the opposite of squared is square root. When you go to case two, if there's a missing hypotenuse, just go ahead and plug in a and b. Square your numbers. Add a squared and b squared. Then take the square root of c squared because the inverse of squared is square root. So your triangles will look like this. However, you know that in, the triangles can interchange, meaning they can flip, they can do a reflection, they can move up or down different sizes. But these are the key missing links. Let's go to work. Pause the video to see if you can complete these problems. These are two problems on finding either the leg or the hypotenuse. Go ahead and plug in your leg and your hypotenuse. To get your x squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared, square those numbers, subtract 16 on both sides, we get x squared equals 9 and take the square root. Go ahead and plug your two legs in, 6 and 7, so we get 6 squared plus 7 squared equals x squared. If we square those, we get our numbers, add them up, and take the square root. 85 is not a perfect square, so I just put the square root of 85 in my calculator to get that decimal answer. You could simplify square roots. This is not the goal. There's a video I posted on how to simplify square roots if you want to know how to do that. Other than that, you're done. Thank you guys for watching. Like always, striving for excellence and reaching for success.